So listen to these numbers. Nine homicides in just seven days. Now, we first told you about concerns from DeKalb residents last night on Update, uh, on our Update broadcast. Today, police gave us some context behind the uptick in crime. And believe it or not, they say it is not quite as bad as it sounds. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens joins us with an update and perspective. I think a question here, is that a lot of spin or is that the truth? It's the truth to, to what we can say, Jeff. Hearing those stats can put residents on edge, making them feel unsafe. But when we took a closer look at those numbers, we found details that might give residents a little comfort. CrimeMapping.com is showing what appears to be an uptick in crime in DeKalb County. With seven sex crimes, 23 robberies, and 317 assaults between May 30th and June 5th. Sounds alarming, right? Well, maybe. We talked to Major A.T. Mears, who gave us a full view of those numbers. Well, right now we're seeing a little increase in the homicides, but overall our violent crime is down 10%. Uh, but how is that possible? Well, Mears says although some stats are high from the last two weeks, violent crime is down in most categories. We have a 19% reduction in our property crime, which is burglary, entering autos, um, larceny. As far as the rape cases, we're almost even as where we were last year, but we're clearing those at a 54% rate as opposed to the national average, which is 36. Mir says the slight increase in homicides and the five additional sex assault cases over the last year have one main factor in common. The biggest, I think, result in why our homicides are up is the risky behavior we're seeing. He says most of the victims were involved in crimes during the time they became a victim. When you go out and you're in vices like sex and uh, prostitution, drugs, uh, alcohol, and uh, doing robberies, you put yourself in a situation to become the victim of violent crime. And we're seeing a lot of that. Mir says the average DeKalb County resident is not at a high risk of being harmed by a complete stranger. We're around 60% of people knew their assailants. He also says oftentimes when there is an uptick in violent crime, like in the past two weeks, there's a direct correlation to turf wars and gang violence. And the department says white collar crime like embezzlement, fraud and other cyber crimes are also about the same as they were this time last year. Jennifer. Well, Latasha, thank you.